Good morning, El Dorado. I am Tony Sherg. And I'm Kelly Hagribi. Hey, Tony, are you good at math? No, but I heard we have some new math teachers that know something about this pair of the subject. That's for sure. Here's a story on the new number crunchers. El Dorado was able to welcome a couple new math teachers this year. Let's go meet them. Hi, I'm Mrs. Bruningkant. I teach Algebra 1A, Algebra 1B, and Algebra 2. I used to teach um, at Yorba Linda Middle School and then Sierra Intermediate in Santa Ana. One of my goals for this year would definitely be to just help my students enjoy math and really become interested in it. Hi, I'm Mrs. Stevenson. Um, I teach Algebra 2, Geometry, and 1B. I've been teaching 13 years. Uh, previously, I came from Travis Ranch Middle School and I had about a 10 second stint at uh, Tuffery. Uh, I want my students to pass this class and move on so I can get another batch. Make sure to welcome our new math teachers. Now back to Tony and Kelly in the studio. Oh, math teachers. On a lighter note, here's Veronica Capitelli to tell you about the new clubs coming to campus. The campus. Our campus. Your campus. Hi, this is Veronica Campitelli from Hawk Talk, and I'm going to be interviewing some people about clubs. They're going to have 10 seconds to promote themselves. Let's go! Encore Club is a great club to join if you're interested in any of the technical aspects of theater, lighting, sound design, set design, costume design, makeup design, ushering. You can join the club and support it. Um, I'm from FBLA. You should join because we do competitions, business tours, and conferences, and you can be a leader. PAL is a club called Peer Assistant Leadership, and we have a lot of fun and get to hang out with kids from elementary schools and help people solve problems. Okay, you have 10 seconds to promote your club. French Club, it's starting soon. I have a president and a vice president. I need some members. We're going to eat, have fun, celebrate holidays, and feel French. It's equal treatment for like gay straights and even bisexuals. They just come and have fun. Club Rush is next Tuesday, so make sure you sign up. They're really fun. Clubs can be really fun. Well, here's the boys with the sports. Hawks, we won the bell back. Eldorado won with a score of 28 to 15. Andreas and Bell played with 113 passing yards, and Brock Dunn had a great 15 yard touchdown. That was a great game. In the girls' volleyball game, Eldorado won three games to zero, with Andrea McHugh scoring 18 kills. Boys' water polo conquered Kennedy High School with a score of 18 to zero. Alex DeBartolomeo had four goals and five steals, and Kyle Valley had five goals and three steals. Girls' tennis won against Tustin 15 to three. Their next game is a home game today with Canyon High School. This is Libby Blunt reporting from the Bell Game. Our Golden Hawks did a great job adding another win to the board and taking back the Bell. In the plans for the season, we take it one game at a time. We have some key players uh, on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, Matt Hauser at linebacker, Chris Manicero at safety. Uh, on the offensive side of the ball, we have Andreas Anvio at quarterback, uh, Brock Dunn at running back. Those guys have been doing a great job. As for our biggest competition this year, uh, you know, they're all tough. Well, they're all tough. Like I said, I think there's a lot of teams out there that want to want to knock off El Dorado, and we're just going to take it one week at a time. That's where my experience at El Dorado so far this year has been outstanding. Uh, the players have done a great job. They've done everything that the coaches have asked them to. They're working hard, and uh, it's been an outstanding experience. So far. This has been Libby Blood. Great job, Hawks. Now it's time for your extra announcements. Yummy. <laughs> Congratulations to Hope Penner from Girls Varsity Tennis for being this week's Athlete of the Week. Go Hope! The Art of Rejection 2-1 app plays today through Saturday at 7 p.m. in the theater. Tickets are $5. Be there or be rejected. Congratulations to Jasmine Miller for being this week's Art Person of the Week. Community service hours are available Saturday, October 10th between 6 a.m. and 4 p.m. at Placentia Heritage Parade and Festival. Attention all students interested in CSF. Just a reminder that applications are due tomorrow by 3 p.m. in Mrs. Oberly's room 704. Hey, Elder Auto students, are you looking for a way to help? Tomorrow is Denim Day, which supports breast cancer awareness. So wear your denim this Friday. Thank you, Elder Auto, for taking time out of your day to watch Hawk Talk. I am Tony Shirk. And I'm Kelly Hagribi.
Happy birthday, Kelly. Her birthday is today. She's 18. <laughs> Two, three, four.